In this video today, we're going to go over how to send in for a post modification. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to come up here to Post Processor, and when the drop down menu comes up, we're going to choose Request Post Processor Modification. This will open up a new screen here where you have two options to choose from. You can either submit it through our web base or you can submit it through email using the PDF form here. Let's go ahead and look at the web base. With that, it opens up a new screen here and you'll want to fill out all the information needed here. What kind of machine you're using, number of accesses, and has anybody worked on this through Bobcat, either our post department, tech support, and even training. That's yes or no. And in here you can also put in the edits that you need to have changed into your post processor. Down here, these are the files that we're needing. First is a Bobcat file. That means we need to take whatever Bobcat file that we're using and we need to save this out and put it into a folder that we're going to submit to our post department. So I'm going to go save as and this is going to go into my post mod folder that I have created already and I'm going to hit save. Now that saves out the Bobcat file with all my toolpath on there. That's what we need. Also what we're going to need is an NC program with our changes in there. So with that I have my NC program right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit this through the NC editor. You can use your NC editor within your Bobcat as a notepad on there and you can save out that NC program and we'll uh, place that in the post mod folder. So in this example I'm going to come over here and I want to change my feed rate. I want my feed rate on another line here. So I'm just going to left click space out a little bit and I'm going to put this in parentheses here and I'm going to say feed rate on different line. and close that off. Now with that, that's the only change I need on there for this example. So I'm going to come up here to File, Save, Save As, and I need this to go into the post mod folder here, and I'm going to put in there NC change, and I'm going to save that out. Also I'm going to need, and let's go ahead and open up the web base here, we're going to need the latest version of the post processor and machine definitions that you're using right here. So to do that, what I usually do is I'm going to open up two file explorer windows and set them next to each other. On the left hand side, I'm going to come over here to my C drive, open up the Bobcad Cam data folder, open up whatever version you're running. In this case, we're going to use version 34 and we're going to open up the post folder and mill. Now the post that we're going to be copying over is the BC3X mill in this example. So I'm going to come over to my right file explorer here and I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to find my post mod folder and open that up. So on the left hand side I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to copy my BC3X mill and I'm going to paste it into my post mod folder. Now back over on the uh, mill folder here I'm going to hit the back arrow twice here to get me into the main page. I'm going to choose the mock sim folder and then I'm going to copy the bc3x mill folder over to the post mod folder. Once that's completed we're also going to need an electronic PDF of your user manual or if you can get us the acceptable GNM codes for your machine uh, place that into that post mod folder and also any other information that's going to be helpful for our post department to get this uh, uh, post modification uh, done in a timely manner. Meaning if it's an error that's on your machine, take a picture of it, save that into the uh, post mod folder. From there, I'm going to go ahead and minimize everything here. I'm going to take this post mod folder and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to come down to send to. I'm going to say compress zip file and there it is right there. I need to make this into a zip file so I can attach it to this post form. So if I choose file here, I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to scroll down to postmod.zip here. 
double click on that and that attaches here. Also, you're going to want to read the acknowledgement form. Once you do that, you can X out of that. Check the box off saying that you've read it, you understand it and everything. And then you can submit from there. And that's how you send in for a web-based post modification. Now let's take a quick look at the PDF one. This one you can do online. You can make edits to it on there. You can also save it out on there. I've had people actually print this out also, fill it out and then come back later and then fill it out online. So first thing is you want to look at the acknowledgement here. Uh, go ahead and sign and date that there. We'll come back into this page again and download the post processor modification here. Fill out all the information needed. Again, just like in the web base, we're going to need the same information. Put it in a zip file and attach it to your email there. Once that's all completed there, go ahead and email this all off to us. And this will, in both the web and the PDF, this will make a ticket through our system here for our post department. They'll go ahead and review it. And if they have any questions, they'll get a hold of you either via uh, email or phone call there. And with that, that ends this video.